sound in the ocean travels 25 times faster uh, it, it, underwater than it does on land. And the animals in the ocean have evolved over hundreds of millions of years to take advantage of that acoustic environment. But unfortunately, mankind is also using the unique acoustic properties of seawater uh, for our advantage. We use that to map the seafloor, whether it's for charting or navigation, or for finding fish, for fish finders on, on fishing vessels. Mapping of the seafloor using sound uh, called for seismic exploration, which is used to find oil and gas deposits under the seafloor. Before the Industrial Revolution, our oceans were nearly silent. We had pretty much all natural sounds, fish, marine mammals, rain hitting the surface, thunder, all was natural sound. But then you had the Industrial Revolution come along and shipping take off. And shipping has been growing exponentially for decades, for almost 100 years now. 96% of the goods that we use are transported by ship. That shipping noise uh, has created this sort of acoustic smog. And what we think is happening is it is masking out the natural sounds in the ocean. Imagine you're on a date in a crowded restaurant and you try to have an intimate conversation with someone. Uh, now imagine that all that noise, the background noise, the restaurant makes that a lot harder. Uh, fish and marine mammals have that same difficulty. They have to start figuring out how to talk over the background noise, this kind of acoustic smog that is permeating our ocean. So acoustics are incredibly important, and for fish to be successful reproducing, to successfully find uh, their reef homes when they settle out of larval stages, uh, and to find other, uh, other mates, to find partners uh, to reproduce with, uh, it's important for every aspect of their life.